What's up, everybody? So, listen, real quick video. Um, I had a question from one of the subscribers asking on Carbide Create, how do I know what size something is, or how do I resize something on Carbide Create? You know, my SVG file, when I import it, you know, my, my bitmap, or where I'm going to carve. How do I do that? How do I set that up? And it's really simple. Now, you have to excuse me. I'm, I'm out in my truck right now. This is the, with the creepy lighting I got here. And you might hear some noise in the background, some clicking and clacking. But, um, hey, you got to do what you got to do. So I'm going to show you this real simple. Um, what we're going to do here, we're going to come over to the little gear here. We're going to click it. And we're going to set up our height of our, the height and the width of our uh, piece of wood or whatever you're carving. So we're going to make it simple. We're going to go 10 by 10. We could have left 8 by 8, but we're going to go 10 by 10. And, uh, you know, the stock thickness, we'll just bring it down to 1. It, it doesn't really matter for this video here. But we'll go 1 inch. We'll hit uh, hardwood, whatever. Remember, you got to uh, set up your, your shape poker or whatever you're using, right? The 3, the XL or XXL. Uh, we'll go inches, and that's all you're going to do to set this up. So that's your 10 by 10 piece of wood or whatever you're using. So now what we need to do, and you can see in other videos um, that I'll post at the end of this one here that you can click on, um, you got to trace your bitmap. I use Inkscape, a very simple program, and uh, you know it's free. So that's always good. Um, but what we're going to do here, I already have that. We're going to import the file that I already traced. And we're going to go desktop. We'll go uh, EL2 SVG files, what we saved it as. And it's an elephant. So you can see when it brings it in on your... We're going to hit group, by the way. We might have to regroup it. You can see... Let me see here. Nope, it grouped. Okay. So you can see when I click on this, I can move it around um, and I think what a lot of people are doing is they're clicking this right here and if I type in maybe 8 or hit uh, apply it, all that does is moves it back and forth but I want to be able to size my picture maybe I want it the entire width of the 10 by 10 maybe I want it right in the middle maybe I want it up on the top right corner it doesn't really matter so you can drag it to wherever you want we'll just put it in the middle for now and what you have to do is you come over here you can see this click on it that's the size and there is your width there is your height or your scale factor i don't usually use that too much but let's go if i go um we made that 10 by 10 if we want 8 by 8 we'll hit apply and you can see that it automatically sort of adjusts the width for the height, right? It keeps everything, you know, together. If I were to come over here and drag that in, you can see that changes. But we don't want that, right? Because it doesn't look right. So Control Z, and it'll bring it back. And now you can just bring this around to wherever you want. And again, if I didn't want that, I can come over here, click this, and I can bring this down to a four. And you can see that automatically changes the width. We'll hit Apply. And there's a smaller version. If I wanted to bring it all the way up to the 10, or we went 10 by 10, we'll just go 10. And the height already changes by itself. We'll hit apply. And now you can bring this wherever you want it and carve it out like so. So that is basically all you have to do to resize something. It's really simple, very quick. Um, or what you could do is you could... Um, well, I don't. I, I think that's the easiest way to do it. I think that is the easiest way to do it. Just click this here, and that's what I do. I do that with my uh, my pictures. I, I don't really use the carbide create anymore. But yeah, if I want six, we'll just hit. You could just hit enter, really, and then just hit done. Um, and then if you wanted to scale this out, double click it, and do your thing. So that's all. So I hope you like this video. Quick and simple. If you do, uh, leave a like, get subscribed, hit the bell notification. Appreciate it. Thanks, all.